But uh, that was very exciting. I am. I kind of. Oh no. Yep. Oh. I no. had to check the bracket just to be sure. This this is losers finals. I wonder if Mr. Masasolis has a plan against Core Jam. He has Core to. Jam is a is a tyrant. He is a Sith. This man will lightning bolt you for your wing money. And, and say you just have to play fair. You just you have, have to, to block. Make, yeah, you just have to block. As you, you have to take the throw. The yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I wonder what's what's going to happen because Corey despises Akuma. He does. I think we, it's one, and it's in his top three hated characters. You know what I mean? And and Core Jam being I, a Sith has a lot of hate. One, actually, because I think number one is is Akuma. Two is a uh, is Abigail. Or birdie. I think it's one of those two. It has to be one of those two. Or maybe they're just all number one. You know, just it's just <laughs> top threats that need to be taken care of, never to be enabled and left in my game again. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. But uh, I want. I wonder how Corey's gonna try to dismantle this man and keep on him. Because uh, Akuma's just explosive as Laura. Maybe a bit more so, in my opinion. Oh! Oh. We're getting Seth now. Is this the core jam tech? Round one. This I might really be the core don't jam know tech. how Seth works. Let her know how he works in this match. <laughs> Now, I do recall, like, I think this was actually, like, today that Corey said this, but he was, he had a discussion with some of us in the Outer Haven Discord about how he feels like that uh, Seth's pressure sequences aren't quite as oppressive as some other characters in the game, and one of the characters that he compared Seth to in that discussion was Akuma. So, let, let's see if, despite that, oh my god, <laughs> let's see if despite that, the core Jan's able to turn things around with his Seth. I'm surprised there wasn't Fireball being shut out sooner. I think Seth has a hard time dealing with him. Well, he... At least full screen Fireballs. Mid screen, I'm, that's a whole other bag of worms there, but... Well, Core Jam does have V-Skill 2. If he does V-Skill 2 Tatsu, he can go through uh, Fireballs and actually get, like, a little bit of pressure if he's close enough. That's but you can't... great if he could use it. He yeah. got slapped into the next direct dimension. Like my vision. Round 2. I wonder if Corey's playing. Just walk up overhead. <laughs> Daring. We are currently seeing the best uh, that Toledo and Akron has to offer here. Both of these, uh, peop both of these individuals are like core staples in their respective uh, regional communities in Ohio. Yeah, these are heavy hitters. None of these people should be taken lightly, unless you're a worldwide threat. Not so that CA not quite gonna kill. Core Jam responds with an EX DP. Try, tries to go to. for another activation point. No, he's just gonna do a raw. He's gonna have to try to at least ooh, just, just get off me. Just I don't want to deal with you. I okay. I did like his Core Jam's decision a moment ago to to try and do Tatsu off off of that fireball. Big damage. Oh, he did. Cause he, he could have gotten a really big conversion off of it. Oh no. Oh. oh, very nice. This should hit it into one hit last struggle. Unfortunately, Seth not able to convert a V trigger <gasps> off of that. No, he, no, he went for the Hail Mary. That was very dirty. I didn't think he need to do it. I feel like the Kumo. No, he had to. The The V trigger follow up off of, um, off of the Tatsu is like super minus. Well, not like super minus, but it's like minus like four, I think. So he had to, so he had to go for EXDP as a mix-up in the event that Mustafi tried to punish. It was actually a very like calculated decision. It just didn't work out in his favor because that's weird. Then why did he go into that situation? Was he really hoping it hit? I mean, the logical thing you would expect uh, Mustafi to do there would have been to punish. It, see and some it e damage from Seth. I guess he didn't have any bar. Oh no! Rush kind of roundhouse. That was weird. I wonder if you messed up a, uh, a string there. I think that was purely. I think that was all intentional. Don't pity me. Now, uh, Core Jam has has a little bit of. Ooh, that V skill Tatsu. 
he has to do some mad work, but uh, killing an Akuma uh, land is not is a uh, what? Akuma has little help, so killing him is not the hard part. But uh, trying to kill him is uh, is pretty rough. Pretty darn rough. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Killing him is hard, but not hard at the same time. So Core Jam with a very nice corner carry off of that V skill two uh, Tatsu conversion. And Mustafli. Switching spots. Yep. <laughs> Mustafli is getting that side switch. This is this is very acrobatic Ooh. game. Right Core Jam attempts to anti air with a stand heavy kick, but that loses to Akuma Fireball. Just straight up. Yep. Oh no, that was some lag. This is a very tense pr pressure situation. It very much is Corey. I don't know if he. Oh, this could be no. Not gonna be it. It's not gonna be it. I'm surprised he didn't go for normal That's just it. to keep. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. That was ballsy. <laughs> this version of Seth is true perfection. Final round. That was something else. I was. Fine. I didn't see that coming. You never like see it coming. Anything, but I didn't see it coming. Corey's grandfather didn't see that coming. He doesn't even know what a Street Fighter is. Uh, Bentha Box, this is a first to... This is a first to three, best of five. We are currently in Losers Finals of Dragon Punch Online, a Ohio centrally focused online tournament. The internet's just built with the you know? I wonder if he's, if he has enough steam to take it out. That should be. Oh, it. this should be it. This is a dead Akuma. These are two very much fragile bolts with explosive power. That that's very much true. These are these are the two characters with some of the lowest life in the game. I think Seth has the lowest stun. I think if I remember right. I think so. Cammy? I can't. All I could say. It's near the bottom. It's it's, it's, it's pretty. It's top three. It's pretty lowest. low. Round one. And uh, Akuma deserves it. And uh, Seth, uh, well, it's like they just had to keep it, I guess. But their damage output is such that uh, I guess having a little health balance is it. <laughs> Akuma can suck. I hate that kid. I still love that he gets nerfed twice, and the, everyone's like, "Oh my god, I don't know what's gonna carry me to platinum anymore." <laughs> Oh, oh, I wonder how many Ryu main switched it. Eh, if only we, if only we could like actually tell from the raw numbers. Speaking of us, speaking of nothing, Akuma just uh, there was some tug and pull from each side, but Akuma just just dominating that side. Yeah, Masafa was definitely able to find more openings against Corey in that round. Very true. I wonder if Corey is just gonna hold down with Seth and not switch back to Cora, but... I feel... Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if this is gonna kill him, but this is gonna hurt. Almost That's cool very perilously Dude, close to stun. What are gonna do? Any, anything that could touch him. Oh, oh the Corey. crouching medium kick. Corey just kept fishing for a low, and he got it. Wow. Well, Seth is really good at poking. He's got some amazing low... You just got some amazing poke buttons in general. Yep, crouching medium punch, uh, crouching medium kick, stand medium kick, phenomenal poking tools. It's like dealing with a Chung Li. I, I hate that character. But... <laughs> no, just Considering you play Gee, if that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Dude, it's so miserable. <laughs> that, that's just how Geef is. Yep. Full bars on each, almost each person. That was a nice stall just to make sure he doesn't eat that fireball. Yeah, very smart choice from Mr. Cordam. Eating that uh, small combo into back dashing into fireball, not so great. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that overhead, okay. Oh no, he can uh -huh. pull this back immediately though. Uh, he did not spend all his bar though. I'm surprised that Cordam didn't try going for the kill. Oh, yep, that's it. Yeah, that should do it. That should be clean. Yep. I feel like Core Jam is stringing along Mr. Mustafa, at least. He's running back. He wants them to run into his foot. 
and then he, he's just trying to do mega punish. I still think that that last uh, V Trigger combo sequence into uh, JoJo hands could have killed if he canceled into CA. You think so? I Seth's damage output in V Trigger is bonkers. It's like, it's unreal. It is truly bonkers. Maybe he was scared he was gonna mess it up because this is a new character. And Corey takes no. a, a decent while to be a comma, uh, like, to get used to it, a new character. I have faith in Corey's execution. He could have totally pulled it off. It's a very easy confirm. All right. All right. He, he might not have just been aware that, that he had, like, the full resources. I mean, Corey may be sick. He is still human. He is still human. Still. Speaking of which, I swear we just ignore the first round. It does nothing of what's gonna happen the next. Uh, yeah, because Mustafa <laughs> is just like cleaning up shop. He just grabbed and turned Akuma into a grappler. That's also his forefoot archetype. <laughs> oh. oh, all he needs oh. is an air throw. <laughs> I wonder, I, w I wonder if there's people in there. Nice air to air. That was very clean, very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Jojo hands. What a call out. That was a nice piece. That was some food. The X version of Jojo hands actually has some pretty decent corner carry for just like a single like move. It's, it's the headbutt up there that gives it in, but I think that's the point. Yeah. Well, um, M Mastopheles on his last legs on this one. Before he just squeezes it up a little. But both people are going in with full bars. So this is gonna get blown up. So this <laughs> this is uh this is tournament life for M for Mastopheles. If he loses this this match or th uh this game right here, then he is unfortunately out of the tournament. It's been a great showing for anyway, everyone here, especially on the Ooh, just kidding. I'm just tell him to get, get me out. Get me out of this corner. I don't want to be here. Ooh. I got low health. I wonder if he's going to eat something big. Oh, no, just chucking him in there. I oh, got him. Shimmy him into a crush here. counter. Surprised if oh, Mustafa oh. didn't try to go for a, a like a light Tatsu to like do a side switch to keep the corner. Instead, core jam out. Masafi still has a considerable life Grab lead. Oh, <gasps> no. oh, the sweep. This, is he finish CA? this could be oh, no. no. Planning to hold it. It's, he's, he's saving I think it. Ship him out, but oh, very here. lethal decision from core jam by not going for the CA. I I don't know why he isn't. I actually cool. don't know why he's Wait. not going. I, I, th I think core brain reason. I think core jam wasn't convinced that it was going to kill, and I guess he wanted to keep his offense going. Like True you, enough. Like, would you would you put all of like a whole heart into everything you have? Because they were at the point where it's really hard to get any life or like any bar at that at that point of the game. And if they would have spent it and it didn't kill them, they had to work on true, true neutral tools alone, which is fine because these are high level oh players. God. But it leaves a, another player with full bar, and they could do the same thing to you and actually kill you if they knew. But I, I don't know. I, I would have spent it, but you know what? Nice Tatsu. People are in winners finals, and I won 0 too. So what the hell? Both of these two just trying to fish out seconds. small pokes. That standing heavy kick is a dumb anti-air. Except for some mean anti-airs. It's it's. Don't pity me. Don't pity me. He's sitting neutral. Just trying to get some pressure, trying to get that jump in. Core Jam, um, very solid buffers off that crouch medium kick. I think but Mustafa's Mustafa got the corner. Kill right here. He, he, he's got to be in trigger activation in the corner. Oh, I do kind of like that decision that on Mustafa's part to go for yeah, the jump back fireballs. Enough. Just didn't quite catch Core Jam on his jump, but he was able to, to steadily finish it off with that last DP. Cord Mustafa is, is on track to get a run back with Hitman. Like almost exact same situation at Equalizer Four. He's in losers finals. He's got, he's got one more round in order to go back and get his revenge against the Hitman. Corey's just been nabbing at the ankles this round, but Mustafa's uh, been having. And he's just Ooh. spending it because he knows he has high stun too. It's not gonna kill, one but it's gonna put Mustafa's in a very powerful oh. situation. Oh! Core Jam oh, fishing for an right activation point. 
All right, what's gonna happen here? Oh, I'm surprised it didn't. These, these are very important moments for Corey. Nice, nice tech. tech. Oh, JoJo hits interrupt the overhead. Oh, he could have had it all. Oh. Oh, just uh, okay. Jojo hands. Is a fireball gonna take it? Is a grab gonna take it? I, Is yeah. he gonna get clipped? He got. He got clipped. The core jam, the beautiful butterfly he is, sadly got sucked into some professor's notebook by clipping his wings, putting a label on him, and calling it a GG for Mr. Matop. <laughs> that was a phenomenal showing from both of our opponents. Showing very. Well, showing a very good show. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I think so. Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably. Oh. No time.